Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Mega Man 10 as Proto Man, Part 8. We just defeated Dr. Wily, and now... Wait. It's not over? Aha! One more level. And yeah, actually, I did not edit any of that. That whole segment really is part of the game. Robots in space! Water physics apply. Oh wow, an M-Tank! Nah, actually that is not an M-Tank. Basically Capcom messing with us saying, Oh wait, it's actually a W-Tank. Hence why I use it right here. Plus, I would have needed to use it anyway to open it. I think this level, while simple, is pretty well designed. Except for these drill things, I hate those. But, uh, yeah, the W's and the skulls and just the general atmosphere, I like it. Figurative atmosphere, that is. And death. Now, let's try that again. God, I'm failing miserably. That's so sad. And seriously, these are the only enemies before the boss chamber. It's really pathetic. Whatever, not that big a deal. I should have done this from the start, using the triple blade to get them away from me. Oh well. Yeah, I'd say it's easier to take the right path right there. The above path, rather. Not too bad. Your proto man keep on sliding. Should have done that before. Okay, now, that looks like a W tank, but that's actually a. Wow. I missed another M tank. M for Miss! Miss Tank! Ha <laughs> ha! And now we fight Dr. Wily in his Wily Pod. Or Wily Capsule, whatever. Now I'm gonna say this right now, completely ignore the gray one. You may be thinking, oh, I have to use the decoy to distract it, but honestly, it really doesn't do any good. Not only does it not do any damage to the boss, but it really doesn't stop him at all. Now this boss is actually relatively simple, and not definitely not the hardest final boss in a Mega Man game. However, he does a ton of damage to you. Like with Proto Man, you can die in like four hits. There, four hits exactly. Oh, okay, well, I've died too many times. Once again, I'm just going to show my best run. You're going down, Riley! We must stop, Dr. Wowie. <laughs> this is so awesome. And you have a uh, water physics or space physics in here, so it makes maneuvering a little easier. Despite that, I still get hit quite a bit. Well, we're at the very, very last place, so why not use the last E-Tank? Wish I would have gotten that M-Tank, though. Duh. All right! We beat him! Yeah! I like how Proto Man's scarf is moving in space, even though there's nothing to move it. And now another one of yeah, and now another of your schemes ends in failure.
Hmm? What's wrong with you? You've got a fever. I guess that's what they call... Poetic justice. Ellipsis. Ellipsis? I should just leave you here. I should just leave you here. A few days later! Oh no, Dr. Wyatt! Oh no, Dr. Wyatt's gone missing! Oh, what's this? Wow, I wasn't trying to do an Arnold voice there, but I guess I did. Aw, oh, good. He left capsules to cure the Roboenza. Even though in this playthrough, I kind of disregarded the story completely up until now. <laughs> and that's it! That is the end of Mega Man 10 normal mode as Proto Man. Thank you all so much for joining me on this journey. I had a lot of fun, and I hope you did too. So in all the, 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 the only thing left are the credits. Dr. Wily numbered 73, Blade Man. Dr. Wily's numbers 74, Pump Man. Number 75, Commando Man! Seventy-six, Chill Man. Seventy-seven, Sheep Man. Seventy-eight, Strike Man. Number seventy-nine, Bastard Child, Wheel Gator, and Optimus Prime. And Turbo Man. Sunhead. Yeah. Developed by Inti Creates. The same people who made the Mega Man Zero series. Yeah, I think they did a really good job. And it was definitely an improvement over Mega Man 9. See, the problem I had with Mega Man 9, especially as Proto Man, was there were way too many just cheap tri ch cheap traps. And while the, blo uh, the weapons kind of made up for this, like, for example, the Jewel Shield pretty much break, broke the game. Any projectile was deflected. But, uh, Proto Man himself, let's see, he was knocked back at least twice as far. The shield did not cover as much ground. And he could not use the shop. So that made it a little bit too challenging. I wouldn't call Mega Man 9 the most challenging of them all, but there were quite a few times where they just have way too many cheap tricks. Particularly if you're playing Hero and Superhero mode. Oh my god. <laughs> But yeah, in this game, Proto Man is uh, much improved, and I think he's really fun to play as, and I'm really glad they included him right off the bat instead of downloadable content. So, I didn't really... Uh... Oh, speaking of downloadable content, the DLC in this game is just way better. Now, let's see. You can play as Base, which is reminiscent of Mega Man and Base version. Uh, the special Three special stages where you actually can fight the three bosses from the... Game Boy games, the Mega Man Killers. Enker, Punk, and Valid, or Valade, I'm not sure. And uh, Endless Attack Mode, which I always love that. It's nice to go for a high score, because sometimes you want to play Mega Man, but you don't want to go through the whole story again. I use the term story loosely, of course. And uh, Mega Man 9's DLC was just bull. Endless Attack Mode, Hero Mode, Superhero Mode, yeah, you have to buy difficulties. And then, uh, the special stage was basically one long special stage. One long stage with, uh, a bunch of mini-bosses, and at the end, it was the police robot, Fake Man, which was stupid. <sighs> so overall, I'd say this game is a much, much needed improvement over Mega Man 9. So. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, what else can I talk about during the credits? Um, yeah. I'll likely be doing Mega Man playthroughs in the future. Like, I don't know. I'm not going to promise this, but in the future, I definitely want to, at some point, play Mega Man 8 on the Sega Saturn. First, I got to get a Saturn, then I got to get Mega Man 8. Because that was actually the better version of the game. But, I don't know. If and when that time comes, I will certainly post it. 
But yeah, one more thing. Even though this is the end of the Proto Man playthrough, this is not the end. There's still more I want to cover with Mega Man 10. So, stay tuned, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. <laughs>